last goal of all them for the AMG. You've done it. We've only one race left. Uh, rub it in his face by winning this cup without damaging your car and setting the fastest lap. Please don't be Nürburgring. Please don't be Nürburgring. Oh, oh, Paul's test track. Oh, I ain't that little skinny thing. Uh, that's a bit cheeky, isn't it? They've lost the um, rights for Porsche. Uh, EA. So they put the Merc at the last race at the Porsche test track. I bet that's like a finger up, your, up yours, that is. We don't need your Porsche anyway, we've got Merc. Right, without damaging, how much do you reckon you can... How much can you bash the other cars about, I wonder? Now here, there's plenty of places to chop corners if you need to. I've been quite good really for out here, I haven't really chopped many corners apart from that stupid Nürburgring last one. So I've chopped one corner, I think, throughout the whole lot. I'm pretty defeatist at Nürburgring. Before I even start... I've sort of lost anyway, even before I start the thing. But if I can do four laps around here in Melbourne without smashing it up, I'm sure I can... Um, do three laps around here. It didn't say no contact anyway, it just said without damage it, so that means don't plough in the back of them or smash it straight in a barrier normally. I fancy I might have taken far too long to get past half of this lot. I mean it's not the fact it's not the case of getting into sort of second or third. It's getting up to that lead up quick is normally the one. And the front two might have just totally disappeared. Stay away. One of Hamid and uh, Magnus might pit each other again. That'd be handy. It looks like he's getting quite a long way ahead over here. Oh dear, I took that badly. Right, there was 400 behind on the last lap, and I'm 300 behind here, so I've only actually caught up about 100. And I don't know how far ahead Amid is of, Ma of Magnus. It's 
quite a bit of chill corner chopping coming up here I think. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do chill corner chop. I'm not gonna do that. I could have chopped the corner off and won that, but I don't really want to do it that way. So I'm a few seconds too slow, so all that is really is I didn't get through the first um on the first lap, I didn't catch the leaders quick enough. Oh, and I don't need a service. That is lucky. Well, I'm doing that again. I so I can just chop the corns off, but I don't particularly want to do that. about with the uh, front lock is obviously the answer sorry getting up to the front lock is and I've mentioned that before that is what the whole race is all about it's don't I thought he's gonna crash straight in a minute because these front couple do go at a different pace than the rest I thought I was going to get out of his way. I didn't take any notice of what the um, best lap time was last race. I hate this corner, never know where to break. There's no visual breaking points for me there whatsoever. I mean, if you just got pause the video and took a photo near the end, you can see obviously like the 100 marker and stuff, but while you're actually driving it, I can't actually see where the 100 marker is. Most corners I've got a visual a visual marker of some sort where I break. It might be, say, length of curbing or a marker board or whatever. Or even a shadow in a road quite often. But um, on that corner, I haven't got one. This will be the fastest lap anyway, whatever that is. But my visual marker on this corner, what I was talking about, up here, the only thing where I break is the, the red and white signs in the, in the end here, when they become quite... Like in your vision, as you see that red and white, I know, I know where the red and white chevrons are at the end. When you see them, when they start to become sort of zooming up a little bit in size, that's my breaking point there. And that is a terrible thing to have as a breaking point. But it's the only thing that I've got any relevance to. I can't, um,. I swear I can't pick out any curbing or even a line in the road or anything like that. Well, superb car to win. It's worth the gold. Whatever you spent on it, it's worth it. It's worth the racing dollars that you spent on it. Fine, fine car. Uh, all in all, pretty easy whole event, I would say. I failed, obviously failed a couple, but that's where I want to try and do it the right way. 
most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time. Depends what mood I'm in, really. But I'd rather complete it like that than the last one, where I could have chopped the corners off and won it. I know I've done it at Nurburgring, but I know I'm absolutely atrocious around Nurburgring, so I don't really feel too guilty doing it around now. Uh, I'll service that for tomorrow. Oh, the Agera R has just come out. That's got 40% off. Uh, both in buying it and in um, upgrades. Oh, we've got a double, double tap there. Right, so obviously the car and 35,000 racing dollars. That's pretty good for you, those of you that need that. 20 gold. It's always going to be worth a fair bit for going into the exclusive series it's going to cost you a go in it but you will get some back for that and the other series it's in plus race teams it's going to be in weekly time trial so i'll probably get most of the gold back for that car anyway i would think uh nice car magnus is a man of few words when he's defeated amg is yours uh when's the next one we should have another one coming up soon i think the um them electric go-kart things are coming up soon aren't they i think that and speaking of which that starts in six days formula e so we'll see what they're all about now the desire or desire whatever you call it when that first came out everyone saying what a load of crap that is it's, it's electric it sounds rubbish and everything and it sounds like my facebook messenger thing is going off it can't be facebook i don't use it what's that going off there must be emails um, that design looked pretty crap, but when it actually came out and you drove it, it was, I thought it was really good to drive that. So these, I would imagine, are going to be something like that to drive, but a bit faster. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Uh, hopefully it's going to be good and enjoyable. Uh, best of luck if you haven't won it yet, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I'll either stream that, maybe, or record it. I don't know as yet, but whichever way, I hope you join me. Good luck, and I'll see you then. Cheers.